Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Scientists have found new evidence of the massive tsunami that tore into ancient Britain, Northern Europe and Doggerland, an event that took place 8,200 years ago. As you may know, this ancient tsunami has been well known for quite some time, and was caused by a geological event that is known as the Sturega Slide. Basically, part of the seabed the size of Scotland, around 30,000 square miles, suddenly shifted under the Norwegian Sea. This enormous landslide created three successive enormous waves that devastated the ancient land bridge that connected Britain and Europe, a huge ancient landmass that we call Doggerland. This area is now submerged beneath the North Sea, with the highest part known today as Dogger Bank. We know that a huge number of animals and humans did live on this now lost landmass because fishing trawlers have brought up both bones and tools such as ancient harpoons. The waves that hit Doggerland did not sink the landmass, that was a gradual process that happened over many thousands of years as the ice sheets melted and the land flexed accordingly, which, with regards to Doggerland, meant it gradually sank beneath the waves. But the tsunami would have certainly devastated any human population as well as much of the biodiversity. Evidence of the huge waves have been found in Scandinavia, the Faroe Islands, northeastern Britain and Greenland, but no direct evidence for this event had been found in the southern end of the North Sea until now. Underwater sediments, including stones and broken shells, were taken from the North Sea just off the coast of Lincolnshire in a marine trough that is known as the Outer Dowsing Deep. These sediments were analysed and showed clear evidence of a high energy tsunami and with the previous work on sedimentary deposits all around the North Sea Basin, we are now painting a more complete picture of the extent of this geological and biological disaster. The results of the study have been published in the journal Geosciences. From their work, scientists believe that the Sturega Slide took place after a stretch of sediments around 120 miles long that had accumulated off the coast of Norway during the Ice Age, broke free off the continental shelf and plunged down to the depths of the seabed. This took place around 8,150 years ago. Such an underwater event would have sent shockwaves in all directions, causing large tsunamis to crash into nearby coastlines as well as striking Norway to the east and Iceland to the northwest, the waves would have also travelled south, ripping through Doggerland and smashing into the eastern coast of Britain. The Mesolithic human population would have been devastated, with so much death and destruction. And, as stated, we know that humans did live on Doggerland due to the indirect evidence of human-made tools and weapons like harpoons. These have been discovered by fishing trawlers. 8,200 years ago, Doggerland would not have been the huge landmass that we see on this diagram, but it would have been substantial, made up of a number of islands, one of which was large, and contained the relative high ground that is known as Dogger Bank. Doggerland had been shrinking for a few thousand years already, and, after the tsunami, it may have been the last straw for many. And, although there is no evidence, it's not hard to imagine that many of the survivors migrated from the area in search of pastures new, which may well have included the larger islands of Britain and Ireland, as well as Northern Europe. For the survivors, their houses, boats, tools and equipment, as well as their supplies, stocks and the animals they hunted, would have been obliterated, and it would have been difficult to survive the next winter. But, as stated, until now, no clear evidence of the ancient tsunami had been found in the southern North Sea. So, the new discovery is important in our understanding of this ancient natural disaster. Some scientists believe that this tsunami may have even led to the final inundation of Doggerland, which I do find hard to understand because, after the event, water levels would return to their natural equilibrium and there is no evidence to say the landmass of Doggerland was physically and dramatically lowered just because of this tsunami. The cause of this tsunami is well known, the Sturega Slide, and not because Doggerland itself sunk beneath the waves. The area of the coast of Lincolnshire that was surveyed by the experts is today the head of an inactive river system, and is known as the Outer Dowsing Deep, 
which would have cut through the rump of the Dogolan Plain. This area was 25 miles from the sea before the tsunami wave struck, so you can see just how far the devastation spread. The experts looked at the lithostratigraphy, the geochemical signatures, macro and micro fossils, and something known as sedimentary ancient DNA. And all of the evidence points to an ancient tsunami that reached the South North Sea 8,150 years ago. Three major waves hit and retreated from the land, and we know this because of the change of sediment grain size. General everyday sediment in this region would have been relatively fine, well stratified with complete fossil shells. But tsunami deposits are chaotic, with large grains, stones and pebbles and smashed fossils. Paleotopographic analysis shows that some of the Dogolan landscape may have survived reasonably intact, and, in time, it would have returned to the pre-tsunami conditions. But, as we know, sea level kept rising as ice continued to melt, and that, together with the fact that Doggerland was sinking due to isostasy, meant that in time, Doggerland would disappear from the world forever. The climate changed and the land was lost, and a chapter of the human story now lies beneath the North Sea just waiting to be discovered. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.